Do you know what's in your medicine cabinet? Do you forget to take your daily vitamin because you can't remember where you put the bottle? Is your cold medicine usable or did it expire five years ago? Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, learn decluttering tips and organizing tips for your medicine cabinet as we continue our month on health and wellness. Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., hear easy to implement tips on decluttering all areas of your life physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic. Learn how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award winning professional organizer and coach. Julie is passionate about supporting people in clearing clutter so they can share their gifts with the world and live a more joyful and fulfilling life. My mom will probably kill me for this. One year, my younger brother played a game. We proceeded to empty her medicine cabinet and guess how old items were. We played this in the late 90s and there was something from 1984. Well, we were laughing pretty hard. It would have been no laughing matter if my parents or my nieces or nephew would have taken something past expiration date that could have caused them harm. In a website article from Back and Body Medical New York, they found that you are likely to find out of date prescription meds, half used bottles of lotion, some painkillers, and a box of band aids in most American medicine cabinets. Decluttering your medicine cabinet. The first thing you are going to want to do is declutter. Take everything out. Set aside any expired prescriptions to be disposed of properly. Check your entire over-the-counter meds to see if they've expired as well. Age and exposure can harm meds, so it's a good rule of thumb to let go of anything you opened a year ago. If there's no label and you don't know what it is, put with prescriptions to be disposed of. Next, categorize everything you have in groups that make the most sense to you. Disposing of medicines properly. It's very important that you do this, but like most things, I'm going to encourage you to do your own research. Google is definitely your friend here. And then you can make an informed decision for what's best for you. Medicines flushed down the toilet end up polluting our waters, impacting aquatic species, and contaminating our food and water supplies. Most medicines are not removed by wastewater treatment plants or septic systems. Scientists have found medicines in surface, ground, and marine waters, as well as soils and sediments. Even at very low levels, medicines in the environment hurt aquatic life. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, most community drug take-back programs are the best alternative. Most communities today have these programs. Otherwise, most medicines can be thrown out in the trash, but many people believe that's not safe. Children as well as pets can find the medicines and take them. So I encourage you to most definitely seek out a community take back program. Are you looking for information on how to get organized and reduce clutter? Have you wanted to hire a professional organizer, but it's not in your budget? Do you just need some quick professional advice on clutter or organization? Our clutter-free living classes and how to organize your life office hours support you in becoming free, moving forward, and achieving success. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Medicines to store. Here are the staples most medicines cabinets should have. If you like to take the natural route, you should be able to find an alternative medicine for most of these. Painkillers have a few different types on hand to treat different types of pain. Aspirin, ibuprofen, and acetaminophen, an antihistamine and decongestant, cold and flu remedies, cough medicine, either a suppressant or expectorant, gastrointestinal remedies, think Pepto-Bismol and a kind of antacid, first aid kit, to treat minor injuries, a basic first aid kit should contain band-aids, sterile dressing, medical tape, tweezers, eye wash, antiseptic cream, an ace bandage, and thermometer. You might also want to have calamine lotion, 
Epsom salts, antibiotic ointment, petroleum jelly, cotton pads, and baking soda. By keeping your medicine cabinet well stocked and up to date, you may be able to save yourself a trip to the doctor. Note, your bathroom is not the best place to keep medications as the heat and moisture from the shower can speed their deterioration. A better choice is to keep them in a cool, dark, dry space such as a linen closet or kitchen cabinet. If you have children, you may want to select something you can lock. Organizing your medicine cabinet. Now that you have everything you need, let's put it back organized. First, take the time to give your medicine cabinet a good clean if it's been a while. You will want to store the things you use frequently, such as toothpaste, deodorant, razors, and tweezers. If you use it daily, put it here. Establish categories for all of your items, grooming, skin care, hair care, etc. If you have a lot of items, you may want to use a Lazy Susan with what you most frequently use. Plan on going through your medicine cabinet each year for a thorough cleaning and decluttering. Labeling. From this point forward, label all of your medicines if they aren't clearly labeled. Most prescriptions should be labeled, but if you have something like a cream, the box usually has that information. Most times we take that box and recycle it, and then we don't have the original prescription. So make sure you label and include name, drug, date, and what it's used for. You may also wish to label inside your medicine cabinet as well to make it easier to find things. Back up for emergencies. If there is a medicine that you take regularly, are you prepared for an emergency? Most medicine I take seems to last a year. Get an extra prescription to keep in your emergency bag in case you need to leave town due to a natural disaster. If you would have to relocate, it may take time to get a doctor and receive a new prescription. This way you'll be prepared. Check your medicine and if it's near expiration, swap it out with your newer bottle. Have a place where you keep your prescriptions. With the ease of smartphones, I also suggest taking a picture so you have a copy as well. Takeaways from today's podcast. Properly dispose of any expired medicines. Community give back programs are the safest. Keep your medicine cabinet stocked with the basics and check annually to remove anything open and unused after a year. Organize your medicine cabinet with what you use daily and create categories to find easily. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for listening to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 clutter-free living tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie services including coaching, classes, affirmations, aromatherapy, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course and more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Don't forget to subscribe and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.